Hey guys, MRA back again, and I have another follow-up video. Um, more stuff from 3.0, and I pre-ordered these months ago. I'll put uh, what I recall in the description below, so check that out as far as uh, what I paid for these and when I pre-ordered them, because I believe they are sold out from the 3.0 store now. These are the uh, 1.6 scale Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the movie Leonardo and Michelangelo. These are some views of the box. Give you a good look real quick. The back there, side, and Michelangelo. The side, the back. And I believe I ordered these for somewhere around $350. Again, I'll put the uh, the uh, number in the description because I don't recall at the moment how much they were but it was around 350 shipped so not too bad for both of these um, let me open these up so we'll start off here with Michelangelo really cool Oops. so that's how he comes this clamshell. And that's pretty neat. Let me open up Leonardo. Really big boxes here. So I'm gonna have to get rid of these boxes again to save some space. So we got Leonardo back there with Michelangelo. You guys a good look at both of these in their packages. You can see here Leonardo has a couple extra hands, his katana swords, the figure, and with Michelangelo, some necklaces and then his nunchucks, some extra hands. And he also has his uh, skateboard back there, which is really cool. So, quick view of the back of Leonardo. Let me open them up to uh, give you guys a clearer view. Stuck together pretty good. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. I really stuck these together really well. Wow. Okay, there we go. Sound like I was breaking things there. So here's a better look. You can see Leonardo. Looking really cool rubbery outer skin with inner ratchet skeleton so hopefully these won't deteriorate over time and fall apart on us but for now it's looking really cool let me put him down hopefully he'll stand okay let me see if I can open up Michelangelo Mikey. You can see his accessories a little better there, the hands, the nunchucks. I guess these are all plastic. They look like real wood though. And a better look at Mikey. Again with the rubberized skin and real cloth clothing see if I can get him to stand so give you guys some close looks real quick so I'm gonna basically uh, take all the accessories out set them aside to give you guys a better look but real quick out of the packaging oops there goes Leonardo he's falling over Really quick look. And show you how they look side by side. 
So again, let me uh, take all the accessories out and uh, continue with the video. So hang on. All right, well, here are the two turtles, Leonardo and uh, Michelangelo once again. And I put the accessories on them. You can see the uh, katana swords there on Leonardo. And he's looking pretty badass. And I put the nunchucks there on Michelangelo. Uh, real quick, these are some of the other accessories. Mikey's skateboard. Which is looking really cool, really detailed there. So 3-0 doing a really excellent job. They're, they're just great when it comes to uh, doing the weathering on their uh, toys and figures. So I just want to give you guys a good detailed look. Even have some decals there. On the wheels. Got the skateboard. Mikey's extra hands, a pair of fists, and a pair of open hands, and of course his grasping hands for the nunchucks. And he came with a couple necklaces here, you can see there, one with the uh, shades, and another one there with a little, uh, looks like a dog tag type thing. Leonardo came with a little bit less, just the uh, swords, and then the extra hands, again a pair of uh, closed fists and some uh, open hands there and of course the grasping hands for his swords and uh... yeah this is really neat in the second movie which is coming out soon I believe they got rid of these kind of strange looking and I think they simplified the outfit by getting rid of these samurai looking uh, pads that hang from the uh, waist so I believe in the second movie they have more like uh, regular trousers on. Again, less dangly stuff like the sweatshirt here. and They might have gotten rid of some of the necklaces and things like that. Just to kind of simplify the, uh, the aesthetics of the uh, turtles. And, you know, make them look a little bit more like what we're used to seeing in the cartoons and comics. Um, show you some of the articulation. The head, you know, rotates on a bit of a ball joint. Uh, the turtle shell here is kind of rubberized. You can see how it's kind of soft. So again, over time I'm worried about that type of stuff deteriorating. Same with the shorts. These are also a rubber type material. And uh, the details are cool. You can see there with the uh, it looks like uh, duct tape. It looks like basically they just used miniature duct tape and actually stuck it on them, so that's kind of neat. Looks really realistic. The back of the shell, really well done with all the details and painting. So just a really excellent figure. I just, again, hope he holds up over time. Let me put the camera down and see if I can uh, show you some of the articulation. As you can see there on the arm, some pretty good... Uh, range of motion there with the uh, elbow. I don't know if you can hold that pose for a long time, but you know, he has a nice shoulder ball joint. The legs, and there's uh, ratchet joints there around the knees. And the feet swivel pretty good. Um, knee pads can move. Let's see, let me try to show you a bit of uh, Leonardo too some of his details. Basically the same type of articulation the rubberized arms. Some ratchet joints there. I'm trying to bring that up a little bit. Kind of sticky there. Eh? So some of the paint on the leather there is a little bit sticky. But again, again <clears throat> some great weathering all around. You can see the details in his shell and the uh, sheaths there or the scabbards for the uh, katana swords you can see the joint there in the legs and again real cloth type material for the uh, armbands and on the shoulder there really great details you can see the shoes it looks like they stitched a bunch of uh, different shoes together to uh, basically fit on these big guys same with uh, 
Michelangelo there. Pretty funny. It looks like two smaller shoes for the toes and one bigger shoe there. <laughs> so let me see if I can show you a little bit of uh, Leo's movements. So you can see there the leg. See a little bit of the knee joint there. Some swivel with the foot. Uh, there is some waist rotation there. And again, the head is on a bit of a ball joint. You can see there, you can see the little gap there. So pretty good movement all around. So rubberized there, his shell is also kind of rubberized. You can see it's kind of soft. So hmm, kind of something to worry about later in the future. Uh, this is kind of like a pleather type material. It's kind of cool. And again, real cloth type material here for the uh, loin cloths. So that's it. Leo's a bit taller. He's probably about 13 inches tall. Mikey here about 12. Here's my 3-0 Jon Snow that I got last week. I'll show you him in the background, give you a height comparison. So he stands about 12 inches. So about the same as Mikey. And again, Leo being a bit taller there, maybe about 13 inches or so. So that's them side by side. I'll give you guys a good impression of what they look like. And I can't wait to get the other two. Like I said, I'm hoping to get the complete set of four before I move. Uh, hopefully it's going to come in next month. So I'll try to do another re review when those come in and show you how they look all together side by side. And uh, really great to have these before the movie comes out, I believe, this summer. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, really dig these. And uh, for you Turtles fans, you might consider getting these, though they are sold out now from the 3-0 store. But I suppose you can get them still from uh, various collectibles sites, uh, maybe Sideshow Collectibles or Big Bad Toy Store, places like that. So uh, look for these, and hopefully you enjoy this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please give it a thumbs up, share the video, like the video. And if I don't see you for a while, you know, just hang in there, guys, and keep on collecting. Stay tuned for more. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.